Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I think I found the perfect, what I call, neighborhood watch light, and that is the Thrunite Catapult Pro. It's a high-powered thrower, narrow beam. Let me tell you the story, though. Um, this one I, I highlighted not too long ago. This is the Thrunite TN12 Pro, and I called this one my bump in the night light. Basically, if you're you know, in your house or whatever, you hear noises. This is an ideal light source. It's got a good throw, kind of a spotlight. That's what throwing means. But it also has plenty of spill, so you can easily navigate an area. Um, this one, on the other hand, is an upgrade of the Thrunite Catapult V6. Now, there is a tiny catapult, the Mini here, which is also great. Um, and I, I used a... Uh, um, an adapter to mount this on a pair of binoculars, um, you know, for lightweight night observing. There's the TN42, which is just an absolute beast. Um, but why I call this the perfect neighborhood watch light is, first of all, as a thrower, it gives you plenty of distance between you and the subject. And also, when you whack somebody or something with a thrower, with basically a big spotlight, just like the police or something, it gives some authority in that light stream. So if I uh, um, am in the city and at one of my properties and I'm looking around and something's up, I hear noise, somebody's sketchy, don't know what's going on, this is the light that I want to grab simply because... I can fire off a significant beam that basically radiates uh, authority. If you get hit by it and you're hanging out in an alley or a, you know, on a corner or behind a bush or something, it means not only do I see you, but I have, uh, I have a reason to be looking for you, which is why you're getting blasted with so many photons. On the other hand, if I'm walking around and I, I need a light just to see to kind of navigate the space, I don't want to be, you know, basically making a big bright circle around me. So I can use a very small, very low light, but notice how focused that is. By being focused, it means I can make a little two foot circle around where I'm trying to navigate or a little bit. I can go out to five feet or whatever it is um, in order to uh, move comfortably through an area, don't lose my night vision, and um, I'm not going to be an easy target, you know, to see from anyone else because I'm barely lighting up just the surrounding area, which is another artifact of a thrower. It doesn't cast a large beam, meaning this actually allows me to navigate a space without presenting much of a, a light footprint. And then if I need it, I can double click the, um, the main button there and blast somebody, something out with an authoritative 2700 lumens. Um, now, of course, it's not going to last a long time, about nine minutes apparently, but this particular thing will do the job I need to be done. Um, I need to have done in that, you know, that window of time. Now, in the past, I have used this Surefire P3X Fury Tactical Light as a neighborhood watch light. And one time I used it, um, there was actually a party going on. A bunch of people came out and were hanging around. Um, and I was just kind of keeping an eye on it from a distance. But at one point, I noticed some folks walking around another house not too far away. And I saw them go in between that dark space, usually between the houses. And I figured... You know, they were up to no good, kind of knew what they were doing. But I had also, at that by that point, had called the police. And the police were driving down the street slowly, looking. You know, that's what they do. Well, I've got a couple of guys in the shadows. So what I did, from about 50 meters away, was blasted them when the police came by with a spotlight, which this essentially is, but it's not near as powerful as these, these throwers and lit up that area, the police immediately stopped. There's the guys basically going to the bathroom on the lawns in front of these houses, and uh, the police had them at that point. Um, the authority that a, a beam, a bright beam of light casts, can't be understated. And this one here, um, I've played around with it. I've walked around with it. I've used it. In, and in fact, I'll show you some, some beam shots with it here in just a sec. But uh, it's an amazing light. It's, got, it's good in the hand. It's a nice form factor. It's not a, a, a blunt force weapon or anything. 
you know, certainly could use it for something like that. And they've actually upgraded the uh, texture on it, so it does stick in your hand way better. Um, does have a heavy bezel. I don't know if that's stainless steel or aluminum. Um, feels like steel. So it's a it's a very durable light, USB-C charging, and uh, it actually has uh, the full turbo, 2700 lumens, and then it's got, if you just turn it on uh, uh, high setting, you can see here's the light. If I hold this, the, the button down here, it actually cycles through. It's gone to its brightest. When it blinks, it's at the high end or the low end, in this case the high end. If I hold it, notice that stepless reduction to the minimum, and then it blinks again. So what I've gone to um, essentially is about almost 1500 lumens down to 42 lumens. That's what this is cycling seamlessly, steplessly back and forth from. And then, of course, I can uh, hold this down to get my moonlight setting, or I can triple click it to get the strobe setting. Can also lock it out. Now, the other thing with this is I can easily walk around with a very low setting and immediately get to a high setting and then off, or I can click it on whatever my preset setting is. That was my normal um, kind of in that stepless area. I can set it to what, what's handy there, um, immediately go to full blast off or off to the moonlight setting. So I can easily navigate through this. If I think I'm gonna need a high, higher powered, um, but not turbo setting, I can turn it on, I can cycle it up, and then I can turn it off, and then that's what it holds it as. So I can essentially set it up for the environment I'm gonna be using it in. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the, uh, the beam shots with this thing. It is a fantastic light if you want a neighborhood watch light.